Hey, what's going on guys? Archer Mark here, back with another review for you. And I have another Star Wars Lego set for you to uh, show you. And it's a neat little set. This is one of the little mini planet sets. Uh, the Planet Series. This is from Series 3. And this is the TIE Bomber and Asteroid Field. There's no... It's the Planet Series, but there's no actual planet. It's just the uh, Asteroid Field, so... Uh, it's a quick little build, just a neat little set. It's the original trilogy, which is always cool. I'll show you the packaging real quick. Uh, here you got your Lego logo, uh, Star Wars. You got the cool Yoda image just leaping off the box. Uh, here's a shot of the little mini TIE bomber. Uh, again, ages 6 to 12. See TIE bomber and asteroid field, 60 pieces. And. You get the TIE Pilot as the minifig for this. Uh, series 3, here you see Asteroid Field. Uh, it's the only set I got from Series 3. It's the only one that interested me. But really interested in Series 4. That has three really cool sets. Uh, here you see the missing uh, image, the hole where, where the planet sits. Uh, as I've opened this, of course, it's empty now. Uh, very cool. I'll show you the back again. Uh, just sort of a close-up image of uh, the planet or asteroid field in this case is a little ship with the display stand and the TIE pilot. Uh, Lego Star Wars see Series 3. Uh, down here, the, here's the other two sets. The Republic Assault ship, which is Coruscant and Kamino with the Jedi Starfighter. Now, those is just don't interest me, just not as much. This one was just something about it I like. Yeah. So real quick, uh, you have the instruction booklet, very thin. You know, with these planet series, they're very small, quick builds, not much to them. So, you know, we we'll just kind of flip through this, you know, usual. You know, you know, nothing too exciting there. I'll throw that over there. Uh, here's the, the planet or asteroid field in this case. Uh, not very exciting at all. Uh, you can here you got the little piece here where you can display. You can put it on your desk or you can hang it from this thing here. Uh, again, if you've ever seen any of FlyGuy.net's uh, reviews on these sets, it's it's like, what do you do with these things? He, he's always talking about that. And this one is very uninteresting, uh, to say. They do kind of just kind of get in the way. Uh, but here's here's the set itself. Uh, I always like that you see these little sets. They come with these little display stands, which is neat. So you could position, you could put the ship on there, and it sits on there. And, of course, the minifig is displaying at the little name plane here. Uh, like a Star Wars, see, TIE Bomber, TIE Bomber Pilot, uh, Asteroid Field. So that's a neat little touch. That's one of my that's one of my favorite things about these little sets. Uh, here's the tie bomber, and again a fun little build. Not super interesting, but something about these these tie for these imperial ships are just interesting to look at. Now again, I I love uh, they did a great design on the wings. You know, I love the way they look, the way they come together and just fit on there. And you got this sort of engines there. And you got this clear piece representing that helps represent the cockpit. Which I think looks really cool. It's just a real nice touch. Attention to detail. You know, show you the bottom again. Uh, this little clear piece, this is the part that attaches to the base so you can display it. You know, not too much to really talk about this ship, but it's just something about it is just, it's just neat looking. And, you know, of course we see this in The Empire Strikes Back as they're, the Empire is hunting for Han Solo and the rest in the Millennium Falcon. Through the asteroid field, of course, and they're, you know, hidden on what they think is a giant asteroid. Of course, we know better. This cave that isn't a cave. 
And, and there you go. It's just all mostly gray and a little bit black pieces. A couple little clear pieces. That's about it. Oh, fun little shit. And then here's the, the minifig. TIE pilot, you know. We've seen these guys before. You know, basically all black. He comes with a little, little blaster pistol. We got, let's see. We got the Imperial logos on the helmet. It's hard to do with all, when it's like an all black uh, character like that. It's hard to. Oh, yeah, we'll give you a better, that gives you a better look. Get a little closer there. And, you know, nice printing on the front of, you know, all the hoses and the control box. Uh, not much in the back. Pretty, pretty standard. Nothing overly exciting, but still, still neat. Little troop builder for your Lego armies. Take the helmet off real quick. Uh, here's his little, his little Lego face. And we've seen this before uh, with other other Imperials, other troopers. Yeah, look at that smiling face. He's just happy to be zooming around the galaxy, hunting for rebel scum, trying to bomb him, maybe shoot him with his little blaster pistol. He's just smiling away. Okay. Put him down. Let me give you a little look. Here, let's see if we can give you a closer look at the helmet. It's nicely sculpted, you know, a little silver paint there. Again, a little silver on the eye pieces and on the nose, and uh, so that looks good. It's a nice little touch there. There's the helmet. So, okay. That's pretty much it. There's like I said, there's not much to talk about these things. But they're fun little builds. Uh, they're not overly expensive. So if you're sort of a, if you like Legos, but you're on a little bit of a budget, uh, so neat. These are sort of neat little alternatives. You get, you get a mini fig, and you get a little vehicle, and you know a little display stand. So there you go. So that's pretty much it. And I'll give you another look at the asteroid field, little planet thing here. Uh, yes, that's it. So, Series 3, uh, Star Wars Lego Planet Series, the TIE Bomber with little TIE Pilot. Pretty neat. Okay. And, yeah, that's it. Can't really say much more about that. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little review. And... Uh, as usual, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will say again, may the bricks be with you.